Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Virgo for the month of October. This month, I'm going to use the Spellcaster's Tarot and let one card fall out from Heal Yourself reading cards. Uh, if you're new to my channel, um, the way I do my readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. Um, if you see more than one card fall out, it's because it, and you put, see me putting it back in the deck, um, it's because I just read the one. Okay. So sometimes you guys can't see it's more than one card or you think it's just one. I'm putting it back because it's more than one card. A little bit about myself. I'm clairsentient. I'm clairvoyant. Um, I'm an energy reading reader. I read people. That's where I shine. I do my best work. I pick up emotions and feelings of the people who are getting the reading and the people that they are involved with. So if I feel you're a really, really soft energy, I'll pick up a really beautiful energy from you. You know, um, if you want a reading about your partner, I would pick up what they feel, their vibes, their emotions, their feelings, you know, whatever you want to call it. Okay, all right, so I will shuffle until one card falls out. This is a general reading, just a reminder. So if the reading doesn't resonate with you, that's fine. You can take from it what you want. If you want to get a private reading, email me and I will get back to you within 24 hours. I'm making the window a little bit wider for getting private readings. It was 48 hours up until last month. I'm going to make it five days because some days I just can't keep up and I get stressed out and tired. I'm always tired. So I think I have to just open up that window a little bit. Not necessarily going to take five days, but I'm going to give myself that extra day in case um, I'm really busy. Okay. All right. So I have to live my life too. <laughs> so... And a lot of times I don't do things because I'm busy doing readings. And sometimes I have to take time to enjoy life a little bit more. All right. What are the messages for Virgo for the month of October? There is a seven of pentacles. What are the messages for Virgo for the month of September or October? Virgo for the month of October. Virgo for the month of October. What are the messages for Virgo for the month of October? These cards fell out. going to put them back. What are the messages for Virgo for the month of October? So there's the Page of Pentacles. Then we have the High Priestess. What are the messages for Virgo for the month of October? Virgo for the month of October. What are the messages for Virgo for the month of October? Virgo for the month of October. Virgo for the month of October. What are the messages for Virgo for the month of October? Virgo for the month of October. The Hermit. Messages for Virgo for the month of October. 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 What are the messages for Virgo for the month of October? We have the Knight of Swords. Messages for Virgo for the month of October. Move this over just a little bit. Looks like there's room. Virgo for the month of October. Virgo for the month of October. Virgo for the month of October. Eight of Wands. And Virgo for the month of October. Virgo for the month of October. Page of Wands. There we go. 
Okay, so the very first card here is the card that signifies the forces between the two of you, the energies. This is the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles is about patience, hard work, it's delayed success. It's like you planted the seed or the seed has been planted, but you have not seen the fruits of your labor yet. This card is saying that it's slowly growing. Give it time. Keep tending to it. You know, water it, weed it, fertilize it. You know, keep growing it. But this card is saying keep moving forward because you will start to see the success of the relationship. Sometimes you got to step back and just let it grow, you know, and then you just tend to it. This is a slow moving um, relationship, but you can see here, there's a dog, there's loyalty. She's wearing green. To me, that talks about the heart chakra. It's about love. And this person is loyal to you. It's just taking some time. Okay. All right. Then we have the page of pentacles. And this is what you want. The Page of Pentacles is about someone who's patient, kind. Um, this is someone who uh, does not make decisions quickly. Hence this card right here. All right. So the Page of Pentacles speaks about uh, good news. So what do you want? You want good news regarding this relationship. This you could be involved also uh, with the Page of Pentacles. This, you know, because it's a general reading, it is not, you know, meant for everybody. And there's many scenarios. This is a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. I mean, this could also be you because it is a Virgo. But this is someone who's a plain talking individual who is reliable and diligent. So you want someone perhaps who's reliable and diligent. Okay, someone you can count on. Then we have the High Priestess. This is what they want. They're looking for more information. I believe that with this card, the High Priestess, this is about um, them needing to, this is what they want. They want to follow their intuition. So the meaning of this card is wisdom, intuition, its secrets, um, this is about them honoring their own intuition and perhaps they're connecting to higher spiritual guidance. And it's also a time of privacy and discretion. They could, what do they need? Perhaps discretion, privacy. They need, they need to follow their intuition when it comes to this relationship and them counseling themselves. Okay. And then we have the Knight of Swords. What you need. You need someone who's going to make a decision. The Knight of Swords is someone who's more fast thinking, um, makes decisions. Sometimes with decisions come, with this person comes drama. But what do you need? Because this is a slow moving relationship, um, I have a feeling you need someone who's going to take a little more charge. That's what you need for the month of October. Okay. All right. So what do they need? Here we have the Hermit. Okay. So the Hermit is a card that talks about going within, trying to get some clarity. This is somebody who's who can or wants to be alone. They don't mind being alone. It's about getting experience, learning, and then moving forward. So they could be a little bit slow in, this could be a little bit slow this month. It's still growing. This card is saying that it is growing. But this card is saying here, these two cards, it's like they're following their intuition, their guidance. Um, they need, need to perhaps, all right? And this is also about trying to figure things out. And then they, move, they will move forward. So they need, that is what they need, okay? Then we have the Page of Wands and how you see them. So the Page of Wands um, is someone who's a little bit more sparky. Uh, the Page of Wands, which doesn't make sense because I feel like this is a slow moving energy with this person. So 
the page of wands, how you see them. Like this could be potential, right? So this is about friendship. You see them as someone that is very reliable and them being it, it being a good friendship between the two of you. So they could be, you could see them as being very enthusiastic and talkative. talkative. Uh, it's a young situation, perhaps something it's just starting to be in development. It's slow moving, remember, okay? But you do see this as being a great friendship between the two of you. It's about, about connecting with them, um, talking about new ideas, being creative. It's a social, it's going to be a sociable time, them being sociable. All right. And then we have how they see you. There's the eight of wands. This is about someone who's very communicative. This is someone who wants action. It's quick changes. It's about talking. So they could see you. They could be reading you and knowing that you do want changes and you want them quickly. But this is also about communication. Lots of communication. You could be very communicative with them. Okay. You could be the one that's the talker in the, um, in the relationship. Okay. All right. So I will let one card fall out from Heal Yourself Reading Cards. What are the messages for Virgo for the month of October? Virgo for the month of October. We have Phoenix Rising. I'm going to read the message. Number 32. Okay, Phoenix Rising. This is not a time to create, but a time to sweep away everything that has not worked in your life. The reason so many things are breaking down and not going your way is because the old cycle of your life is completing. You may feel that you are walking through the fires of life right now in order to be cleansed and purified for your rebirth. Soon you will not recognize yourself. You are reclaiming your spirit. If possible, try to isolate yourself from the chaos surrounding you. Now is the time for you to feel any pain that you have previously suppressed so that you can heal. The universe has plans and opportunities that are better than you can imagine. So let go and trust and anticipate what is coming. All right, there you go. That is your reading for all of you Virgos out there for the month of October. I really hope you enjoy these messages. I hope the reading helps you. I thank you for watching, subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting. I truly appreciate it. And um, again, if you're interested in getting a private reading, please email me and um, I will get back to you within 24 hours. Okay, all right. I hope you guys have a wonderful month of October. Bye-bye.